Hey everyone, Moak here for another couple of quick new tips on the Silent Push web scanner. So one of the cool things to notice about the different menu options that we have are some of the additional capabilities that we can drive based off of the individual clicks of different fields within the table view. So for example, within the URL section, we have three different things that we can do when we click on a particular URL. We can add it to a particular query, we can do a live scan, or we can add it to a feed or a collection. You can actually see this expand even further by clicking on a IP, for example, where we also have the ability now to explore the DNS of that particular IP or domain if we're taking a look at that particular field. One additional thing to take a look at here is how we can also create additional columns within the table view that you see. So for example, if we scroll all the way down to the right, you can see all of the different default fields that we are able to create all the way up to the SSL issuer organization. Now, if we wanted to add even more, because you know we add a ton of different fields in our web scanner results, we can go to these three little bars here up on the top left and add in any of the other different field names that we so choose. So for example, if we wanted to add the HHV to our table view, we can click on this check mark. And what we'll see down at the bottom here is that HHV value now appearing within the table view. We can also shift where it appears within the table view by clicking on these three little dots on the left-hand side of that particular field. And now you can see that that HHV value is that first column that we see. One really cool tidbit here is that when you create a table view like this and then save a query within your organization, anytime someone else in your organization clicks on that saved query, that same table view will also appear, making it much easier to showcase the specific fields and values that you are looking for for your organization. Thanks, everyone. That was another quick tip for you.